Hello and welcome to a Smurd P video and today we are looking at another Omnibus and the Spider-Man bug still clearly has me and this is the direct market comic for Ultimate Spider-Man with Venom on the back and Spider-Man and I guess the thing about um, the the covers for Ultimate Spider-Man they were I guess fresh and in, in a similar format throughout the whole thing and I'll show you what I mean in a minute. But you got Venom on the top, you got Spider-Man on the bottom. And I brought this from Forbidden Planet. And um, I've, I've probably been not very happy with their service over the last few months. However, this one felt a bit better. You know, I've got a little ding at the top, but that is about it. So kudos to Forbidden Planet for uh, maybe getting it a little bit right. Then we got the ultimate Spider-Man on the side, which looks absolutely sensational. And then volume one there, which is pretty cool. If I turn that around there. And then this is what I mean about the format. You can see that all the way down, it is all pretty much the same. And that is the direct market cover that this one actually applies to. And so on the top, it has Spider-Man relevant to the teenagers of today. Writer Brian Michael Bendis has shown an excellent ear for dialogue and an intuitive grasp of characterizations and dramatic pacing. And that was pop from Pop Masters Matters. I'm not sure if that was back in the day or whether that's now. And you got Mark Bagley's pencils being bring forth a sense of recognition and consistency. Bagley delivers some incredible stuff far surpassing anything I can recall seeing. I feel like that's pretty decent. So we'll take the dust cover off. Ugh, come on. And then underneath we got the creator. So we know Mike Brian Michael Bendis uh, wrote the stories and Mac, Mark Bagley did the art. And then on this side, it's got a little synthesis, etc. And then underneath, I'm going to try and start angling my camera. We've got direct market cover on this side. And then on this side, you've got what the standard cover looks like, which is pretty decent. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to tip this over slightly so I can try and get it into a decent angle and then show you some of what's inside. If I can do that without a hiccup that is he says well it's not being very convincing about it so anyway so what is ultimate spider-man ultimate spider-man came at a time when comics had been out for a good 30 to 40 years so what they wanted to do was um bring in I guess a new generation so they reinvented Ultimate Spider-Man reinvented Spider-Man and called it Ultimate Spider-Man so I f I'm not sure if the intent was for this to be within that 616 universe but eventually it became this other universe um, and then so the Ultimate Universe so there was an Ultimate X-Men there was uh, the Ultimates, which was the Avengers. I think there was an Ultimate Fantastic Four. Don't quote me on that. Um, and so forth. And I think that all came to a head in 2015's um, Secret War 2? Secret Wars? I think so. I feel like that's what happened. And they destroyed it anyway. I think that's what happened. Don't quote me on that because I'm not in the... I, I think I've read that book and clearly I didn't really actually pay much attention to it. So, in terms of this book, this collects issues 1 to 39 and then Spider-Man 1 stroke 2. I'm not what, sure what the 1 stroke 2, whether that's annuals, an annual or something like that. But it's got a big chunk of stories in it. I always feel like 40 issues is... Um, a good kind of grasp for an actual omnibus. I feel like it, it gives a decent size, a decent amount of story. 
I just wanted to quickly bring you down to look at some of the binding down there. It's not quite at the eye, but you can get the, the gist of that. So, personally, I've always stayed away with this, away from Ultimate, because it's not the universe that I liked, if that makes sense. I did that with X-Men, and I love X-Men. I've never read Ultimate X-Men. However, with the release of Ultimate X-Men, and this being released, and I think it was when Volume 2 got announced that I went and pre-ordered this. I didn't pre-order it before. Because from what I understand, the first time this was released, it did not go very well. However, this time, it's like this, this whole generation that perhaps read these wants it. They grew up with this. I didn't, so I'm not as interested, but I wanted to read it because I thought, hey, do you know what? It's saying cool. I'm really into Spider-Man at the moment. Why not give this a shot? Which is pretty decent. So, at the back, we have some ramblings. We have a confession from Brian Michael Bendis. Genesis, whatever that means. Communication. So I guess this is about how this came about, which, um, I'm probably quite excited to read how this came about. Then we got Sketchbook, Spider-Man, how does Peter Parker look? Mary Jane, Harry Osborn, Aunt May and Uncle Ben. Now I could be wrong, but maybe, I could be wrong, maybe this is what Andrews Garfield's Spider-Man was meant to be based on. I could be wrong. I could be talking gibberish. Maybe he's meant to be on the, I don't know, normal one. Um, anyway, I could be wrong. Flash Thompson, we got some guy called Kong in there, Norman Osborn, Green Goblin, some synthesis on the first issue, I guess issue five, so it kind of, I guess gives you a general oversight, maybe this is how he sold it, how this first sort of run would go. Then we got some of the other characters who we know in the normal universe and they're probably a little bit different in here. Now the other reason I wanted to read this is because I'm actually... I actually do enjoy Miles Morales, like most people do. He, he's a fresh intake on a Spider-Man, and um, I, I I enjoy his run. And now there is that connection, which is why I wanted to read this. The connection where he meets Spider-Man, and it goes terribly wrong for Spider-Man. Spider-Man, spoiler, that was your chance to switch off. He dies. This Peter Parker, I believe, dies at some point in the future. So I'm very looking forward to seeing how this Spider-Man's journey actually is. Very excited. So anyway, I hope you liked my kind of overview. I can't tell you much about the story because I don't know. But it's got characters that we love. Just, I guess, a different take on them. I guess that's what I'm most excited for. Other than that, please take care of yourself. And um, embrace the geekiness. Take care, folks. Goodbye. Oh, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Thanks to those that do. Bye, guys.